This was a speech that the American people expect from their president, and it was a home run in the, in the minds of manufacturers. We had an opportunity to meet with the president, David Farr, the CEO of Emerson Electric, who is our chairman at the National Association of Manufacturers, met with the president with other manufacturers last week, and message clearly was received loudly and clearly. Tax reform, regulatory reform, health care reform, infrastructure investment. It was a great agenda for manufacturers. Right, all of which have been, <clears throat> excuse me, on the agenda for some time. Uh, you say it was a great speech. They had, but, but was... you know, to hear the president. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, to hear the president articulate it so well, I think really sent a strong message to, uh, to manufacturers. And with all due respect to my friends, Maya McGinnis and Tom DeLay, you know, I, I think that the reaction has really been from a lot of folks, it's kind of what we normally hear in Washington. I was really heartened to hear the president say that the time for small thinking is over. Our agenda is bold and we've got to embrace it now so that we can make sure that America gets to work again. Let's zoom in and talk about Harley Davidson for a moment because the president seems to be really impacted by his meeting with Harley Davidson executives. He talked about the fact that they face tariffs in overseas markets set in one country even as high as 100%, which could be India looking at some of the import tariffs for U.S. motorcycles. Do you think this makes sense to do some sort of reciprocal tax on overseas tariffs in this country? Or was he implicitly sort of supporting the border adjustment tax? What do you make of that? So, Sarah, here's what I heard. And, and by the way, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin right now at the last day of our state of manufacturing tour. We've been all over the country, Texas and Pittsburgh and New York and Detroit and Columbus and now Madison. And what I'm hearing everywhere is manufacturers want free trade, but exactly what the president said last night, they want fair trade as well. So what I heard last night is if, if trade is, is not fair, if we're being taken advantage of, then this administration is going to focus on enforcement. I think we have to see what the details are going to be, but I think that makes a lot of sense. We should be playing on a level playing field, and manufacturers want that. We do want to sell our products to the 95% of customers who live outside of the United States. There's no doubt about that. But we want to make sure it's a balanced and level playing field. Hey, Jay, we've talked to a lot of companies in the past few weeks about uh, repatriating supply chains. I mean, everyone from small companies, housewares, manufacturers to, uh, to Hewlett Packard, uh, a lot of them say, I can't even cost it out because the things I need, the, the, the sourcing I need is not made here. Is the association doing anything to help entrepreneurs who say, I can learn how to make that quickly and grow that business in a hurry? Well, I think you're talking about, I think you're talking about the fact that there are 350,000 jobs in manufacturing that are going unfilled today. And that is a problem for the sector. And when we fix our tax system and we fix our regulatory burden and we invest in infrastructure and we reduce the cost of doing business here in the United States, that problem is even going to get bigger. In fact, we estimate there'll be two million jobs unfilled by the year 2025 if we don't do something. Manufacturers have a responsibility to work with community colleges, with, with high schools, to try to inspire young people to want to have a job and a career in manufacturing. Manufacturing today is sleek, it's technology driven, and I really think that uh, uh, the more we talk about the man modern manufacturing story, the more folks are going to be attracted to our sector. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.